Welcome to the dashboard area inside of HereFish. Here's where you can get a look at an overview, uh, latest metrics, what's going on inside of your HereFish instance. So by default, we show the last seven days worth of activity, but up in this top right corner, you can select a different time frame or customize a particular period of time that you're looking for. The overview section, the first two panels here, uh, provide a glimpse into overall what's occurring inside of HereFish for your company. So the first module here will give you the number of automated actions that has completed. That does not include wait steps or end steps of an automation, but all other uh, automation steps are included. The time saved, that's a, a calculation. It'll be two minutes per automated action completed. And then the engaged contacts would be the total candidates and sales contacts that have been engaged within that time period. The second module here provides a breakdown of each automation step in a graph form. So you're able to see a visual of which automation steps you're utilizing can be a great area to see which steps you might not be using yet, but you could deploy. So feel free to check out that area. These next two modules all revolve around uh, NPS survey responses. So when using the NPS survey question, um, those get recorded inside of a survey, candidates or contacts that take those. This will display the uh, cumulative net promoter score for your company within the time frame. And then you'll also see recent uh, NPS responses um, from individuals that have taken it. So a great way to get a pulse on uh, what that promoter score is and how it's trending over time. And then the bottom two modules here, the one on the left gives you a breakdown of communication performance. So you can see how your emails, text messages, and surveys are performing in the time frame. And then the module over here in the bottom right corner gives you a breakdown of your active automations by each type. And then under each, you'll get the, which automation name it is and some additional details. But this can also be a good way to see if there are opportunities to automate inside here fish that you're currently not taking advantage of. So that is the overview area of the dashboard. And then there's three other areas where you can get specific breakdowns. If you go to the candidate tab, you'll get a similar mechanism, but this would only report candidate metrics on this side. So this would be things that are happening on the, on the candidate side. And then you'll also see this contact activity, uh, which would come from candidate activity in that time frame, uh, job views, applications, submissions, and placements. And you can see the details of which are below. If you go to the sales, this would be the client contact side. So again, very similar to the uh, candidate side, except this is going to be the sales contact. And again, you're just going to see different activities, actions, or interests. And if those don't ring the bell, that's able to be configured inside of the settings area in the website tracking. Uh, portion of HereFish. And then last but not least, you can also go into your contractors and these would be your place candidates and you can get an idea of what is happening uh, for those individuals. That is the dashboard area. Let us know if you have any questions.